Hey everybody, it's Goddess Jillian. Welcome to my infrared sauna vlog. <laughs> this is where I sit in my infrared sauna and I sweat and I detox and I get clarity. I meditate, try to raise my vibration. Today is day 19 of quarantine in this crazy thing that we as human beings are dealing with on this planet at this time. And you know what? I had to take a break. Okay, so the last vlog I did was on day, I think, 16. And then I got really heavy, you know. my, my vo I lost my voice because I'm doing a lot of readings and talking a lot on the phone, I guess. And also the pollen count is really high. But it forced me to just kind of sit still and really, like go in and try to get some clarity about what's going on and I know in this vlog specifically about this virus which I I refuse by the way to call the coronavirus anymore because if you look at the symbolism which I look at symbolism and everything corona means the sun or light and virus is obviously something that's very detrimental to humans and other animals probably I'm not buying it we're not going to put a virus on the light forget it so no longer even going to call it that. I'm going to call it COVID-19. Boom. Okay, so, you know, I've always said that there's more levels to this than what we are seeing in terms of this virus. There's the economic part of it. There's all sorts of other things in play on the planet um, <clears throat> that have to do with people that are sort of in control behind the scenes, you know. And so I just started getting a lot of information and I even had a friend that said, don't talk about it. And I'm like, dude, I got to talk about it because I also don't believe in coincidences. There is, there are no coincidences. Okay. So I find it very interesting. If you look at the data that historically when we've had pandemics, like the last pandemic in uh, the Spanish influenza, there also happened to be a new wave of radio technology that was going around the globe. The electricity and the planet changed by humans on a global scale. And then radar, and then satellites. And every time we've changed the electrical charge of the planets, the planet uh, is energetic field, and the human beings that reside here is energetic fields, we've had some sort of repercussion in the form of a virus. I believe that it gets us sick and that what happens is the body has to energetically acclimate to that new energy that it's having to absorb all the time. And the human body is incredibly resilient and it's an energetic body as well. So the energetic body can acclimate to the energies that we're, uh, that are forced upon us actually, um, by other humans and also nature has their energies in nature but these rapid introductions of new wavelengths and frequencies can wreak havoc on the people that are not as strong and so you see after after implementation of some sort of electromagnetic or electric charge to the planet on a global scale that you have massive death okay what just got rolled out 5G, baby. Where did it get rolled out first? Wuhan. Who was directly involved in that? And who predicted this whole thing and did models on this whole thing? And is related to the Roosevelt's and the Illuminati and other things? Your boy, Billy Bill. Okay? So, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I just think it's interesting that we have a virus pandemic that comes out alongside of this massive rollout of 5G electro electric charge that's affecting the planet. You can't ignore that. Okay. That being said, on the other side of the coin, right? Because there's many things going on here that are not even of this planet. And I've talked about that. I get, see so much information in my readings that I don't put out to the public, but okay. <clears throat> At the same time, we're dealing with this introduction of sort of negative and toxic producing and possibly virus producing new wavelengths hitting our bodies and the planet. Concurrently, the planet and our, our solar system has moved into a part of the galaxy where we are being inundated with light waves like we've never 
seen before. And the first portal of blasting light, really hardcore, is on the 4th of April. Okay, so get ready. And it's going to build all year. These light waves we've never experienced before in our human energy field or even in the, certainly the planet hasn't experienced in hundreds of thousands of years. Okay, so that wavelength is going to transform our physical bodies into a fifth dimensional vibration. Means we have to be less grounded into the third solid dimension. This will 100% counteract this other energy that we're having to deal with. And there is no coincidence that on one hand we have 5G and on the other hand we have 5D that will, I believe, counteract the human body reacting in a toxic way because the vibration of the human body will have transformed into such a high vibrational being that viruses don't affect it, you see? Okay? That's not to say you just go out and live lolly da. Stay quarantined, stay safe, because I do believe also that the way to to deal with all of this new energy is to nurture yourself, take care of yourself, get a lot of sunlight, take salt baths, detox all the time, eat green and clean, keep your vibration really high, positive, okay? That's all that stuff is critical right now, and we have that opportunity because we're home. Even if you don't have a lot of food to eat, fast. It's really good to detox, okay? So getting in the very high vibrational state and not by going out, allowing yourself to be inundated with 5G energy yet. Because if you can acclimate slowly to 5G energy while raising your vibration, while this 5D energy is coming in to transform your DNA anyway, you can completely bypass this whole BS. Transcend. That's why they call it the ascension. This is it. Okay? We have no choice, really, in this case. <laughs> like, this is, this is what we be waiting for, right? Okay, so... Also, black tourmaline is a really powerful... EMF, electromagnetic field protector. It's a, it's a stone. You can put it in your energy field. It really will dissipate any of those low vibrational frequencies that we're being inundated with. So there are a lot of stones, and maybe I'll do a vlog just about that, that can help you transition into this 5D reality we're coming into so you can bypass this whole BS with this virus and everything else. Getting through the economics of it, that's a whole other story, but... Hopefully, if you're high vibration enough, you'll be at peace through the whole thing. All right? So, that's my message today. I know it's intense. I know it's fluffing through the rest of it. But I just had to say all this stuff because I don't know what else to do. <laughs> it's all going to be golden on the other side of this. I swear I see it so clearly. It's like the golden age is upon us. But we have to, as a society, as a collective, as a human collective, rise up, baby. 5D is here. Okay? So, please subscribe. Please subscribe. Let's get through this together. Please ask questions, whatever. Readings are really discounted. I'm trying to give a lot of money to the food banks. Please, 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 let's do this together. And so... Oh.